Hi, this video will be very short. We're going to be talking about radians uh, of a circular arc, right? Oh, and also the arc length. So consider if you have like a section of a circle, then that's going to be a circular arc here. And this angle here, theta, uh, is given, have to be in given in radians. If we're given in degrees, have to convert to degrees. And then this arc length, we're going to label this as S1. And the radius right here, we call it R1. R1 is going to be radius. And S1 is going to be the arc length. So there's a relationship for that. It's going to be uh, arc length is going to be equal to the angle expressed in radians times the radius of the circle. Let's do a quick example. If my theta here is 30 degree and the radius is, let's see, mm, 2, 2 meter, and we want to find the arc length S1 in unit of meter. How do we work on that? Really straightforward. R1 times theta. R1 is 2 meter, but the theta have to be in radians. How do we convert degree in radians? So it's the an angle divided by 180 because 180 degree is pi. That's in radians. So that's our unit conversion. So times pi divided by 180. So that's going to be, uh, you know, uh, pi over 6, and so it would be pi over 3. Um, if you want to use the approximate value for that, it's going to be 1.047 meter. So that's going to be the arc length for that. And now let's look at another example. We're going to look at the proportion. If we have the same arc length here, but this time, you have another circle which is has higher has longer radius. So if this is R one, and uh, then this is going to be our R two. Okay, they share the same uh, angle theta here. And then this will be smaller arc length. This will be uh, larger arc length. Because what do we know? Because theta in radians is equal to arc length over radius, right? And theta is also equal to this greater arc length over greater radius. When they equal them together, then we have S1 over R1 equal to S2 over R2. I guess that can we can make a simple example for that. For, in order to do this, we don't even need to know the angle. For example, if R1 is 2 meter and R2 becomes, let's see, um, let's make 6 meter. And uh, if you figured out earlier, S1, right? From previous problem, the angle again have to be given if that situation. Angle theta is 30 degree. Uh, so this is essentially the same problem as earlier. Our S1 is going to be 1.047 meter. Now I want you to find out what's going to be S2. We can use proportionality here, right? Um, S1 over R1 is equal to S2 over R2. Then we can even do this, S1. Um, we can do S2 over S1 is equal to R2 over R1. Then we know R2 is 6 meter and R2, R1 is 2 meter, so it's ratio 6 over 2, that's 3. Since you already know S1, you can quickly figure it out. S2 will be just 3 times of the arc length 1, it's proportion. Proportional, 3 times 1.047. That's basically your pi, uh, 3.14 meter. Okay. All right, so that's a quick example of the arc and uh, angling radians. See you next time. Bye.